Something's in the way. Something's blocking this.
<laughs> Won't budge.
Come on.
I should try to stay out of sight. I didn't get a good enough look at you back there. Now I see why my guards had trouble with you. Well, they weren't exactly easy. I'm sure they aren't what mortals like you are used to. You must be someone special. Thank you, uh, your majesty. A simple Persephone will do just fine in my realm. Formalities are for the boring. Isn't that what they say? So, Elysium belongs to you. After the rude introduction I gave you, I can't blame you for not knowing. Let me apologize. Ross can attest. Usually he's the one that does the biting. He would want you to forgive me too. Tell me your name. Let's begin again. On the right foot, this time. No hard feelings. My name's Alexios. Then I give you my official welcome, Alexios. Let me tell you what's customary around here. This place is mine. I know every flower, every face. I alone let them in. But there's something here I don't want. You mean me? No. There's a beast loose in Elysium, and it belongs to Hades. If it gets to him that his wife stole one of his immortal mounts, it'll be a disaster. But I didn't steal it. I won't go near the things. They brought me down here in the first place. No. Someone wants me to look bad, and I need that horse gone. The Hades? Oh. Take it you aren't a happy couple. He's tried, of course, to bond with me. But what can he expect out of a prisoner? Love? That's just stuff of legend. You think someone would do this to you? It's highly unlikely the thing got in here on its own. I have to remember Elysium is my paradise, not everyone else's. I'll see if I can find the horse for you. 
what does it look like? You'll know it when you see it, trust me. Not only is the beast immortal, but he is terrifying. Horses don't scare me. Has anyone seen him lately? I heard screams coming from the Aspodel Arboretum. Perhaps he's scaring civilians. Bring it to my stable boy, the jockey of Artemision. He'll know how to send it galloping back to the nightmare it came from. That looks like a good place for a horse to take shelter. Come on! <laughs> Wonder what's wrong with them. Don't come any closer. You're all scaring my horse. He is just a gentle creature. Have you seen your horse? The others ran away screaming. Leave it to a blind man to see what's right in front of him. Of course I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. These are hard times. I'm afraid I won't make them any easier. I have to take that horse from you. You can't! First Persephone takes my sight, and then you take Orphe? Our friendship was instant. 
I heard the neigh of a fierce horse. I approached him, unafraid, and he licked my palm. Did you say Persephone blinded you? She had one of her godly soldiers fry me with fire. It was punishment for telling others what I thought of this paradise, and somehow it got back to her. Said I didn't deserve to see the beauty she created. He's not supposed to be in Elysium. Are any of us in a realm that boasts perfection but shows only deceit? Have pity. Let him stay with me. Little do you know that this is Hades' horse. It's going back to him. I don't care. I would risk even Hades' punishment for Orphe. Mark my words. I won't forget this. Whoa, boy! Don't tell Phobos, but you are one impressive beast. I need to take this horse to either Adonis or to the stable boy. Who to choose? He's a special horse and belongs to Hades. That's who he needs to return to. Persephone told me you could get him there. It's because Persephone knows I can ride any horse anywhere. I'll take it from here. Take it. I know Hades will be missing his beast. I found him and took him to your stable boy like you asked. You have no idea the trouble you've saved me. You've earned my favor.
Keeper, you found my workshop after all. I know it may not look like much, but it's home. <laughs> I told you, you can call me Alexios. In front of the staff? Pa. But I'm glad you came. There's much to show you in this great land. If you're offering, I could use some help getting my bearings. Oh, give yourself time. The Golden Fields reveal themselves slowly and selectively, but I can help. Walk with me. Maybe you're right. I need to clear my head. Where to? I consider myself a keymaker. One of my keys might interest you. What do you do in your workshop? Invent. All of reality's secrets are hidden behind doors. My inventions act as keys to <laughs> those doors. You reveal the secrets behind them. Ah, you're as wise as people. But why discuss what we can see for ourselves? Observe, way up there, Persephone's first key. If only you could have seen it when it was new. It seems like most of Elysium is in ruins. What happened? This place is beautiful, as are all of Persephone's creations. But it is a world that changes at her whims. When I see Decay, I know she needs us at her side more than ever. Off we go. Imagine all the heroes who have passed through those golden fields, basking in the glory of eternal peace. Each thinking they'd see nothing more beautiful, only then to set eyes on Persephone. Come on. That encampment is the site where Ephaestos built a home for Aphrodite. Doesn't look like much now. It stood tall until Aphrodite met that child Adonis. His ability to wreak havoc with a wink and a smile is second to none. What happened to me in there? Imagine for a moment. Inside you, inside all of us, are parchments twisting like ribbon. On those parchments is written the story of who you are, who you were, and who you will become. Does that make sense? So this twisting ribbon defines each of us, and what happened in there changed what defines me. You understand? With these keys, you can unlock the secrets inside you, and wrest control from them. I've built many. Thank you. I'm not used to doing this on my own. On the Adrestia, I had Barnabas as a guide. Ah, well, I hope it's a long time before I meet him here. I'll leave you to your adventuring. You're welcome to come back to my workshop anytime. Here, Hermes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ella, Ella! You look concerned. I'm worried about Persephone. I haven't been here long, but I've already heard. People want her overthrown. You have? What do these humans expect from her? I'd heard some of the more ungrateful delinquents are planning to rise up. Imagine! These ungrateful delinquents. Could they be right? Bah! You give them too much credit. Still, Persephone needs protection. Don't look at me. There's a friend of mine and your father's, Kiros of Zarax. He's a strong and honorable warrior. He's been abducted, but if we could free him... You're suggesting we make a human Persephone's bodyguard? With Kiros at the ready. The humans will think twice before attacking one of their own. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were in love with Persephone. No one understands her the way I do. Avenis sees a cruel despot. To her husband, she's a trinket on his arm. And what do you see? Me? Oh, I don't know. I've never had anyone ask me before. She's... everything. How do you know this, Kiros? He was an aide, of sorts, to your father. Every great painter needs a hand to crush their pigment. That was Kiros, a warrior. Say no more. I'll find Kiros for you. Ah, I knew I could trust you. While you're gone, I'll arrange a meeting with Persephone. Bring Kiros to the heart of Elysium. We'll be there. Let's hope no one notices me here. the stuff? Heroes of Zarax? Hermes sent me. That keymaker is predictable. I'll give him that much. was my father. Things happened. Now it's mine. Ah, that right? Uh, that makes us family. I knew the man well. I heard. This way. Persephone is waiting. Persephone? All right, Kiros. Let's make this quick. You said this is going to be easier than you thought. Since we're basically family, I'm trusting your honor. I work for Adonis. 
But you were caged by humans. Yes, and Hermes found out about it. Right around the time Persephone was coaxed into deciding she needs a bodyguard. You staged the whole thing, and you're using Hermes to infiltrate Persephone's lair. Ha! <laughs> you're no simple warrior. Before I met your father, I had four sons. Each a warrior. When my third boy fell in battle, there was only guilt. I'd cried all my tears for the first two. Go on. And with the fourth, I felt longing. Sadness had become my only friend. And I had no one left to grieve. Warriors don't bring peace. They bring sorrow. Huh. So by getting behind Persephone's defenses, you think you can prevent war? You could convince her to surrender, or distract her while Adonis escapes. Anything but battle. But before we go to Persephone, I have to send confirmation this plan worked. Will you take me? Fine, but be quick. We need to go to Persephone and their miss. They're waiting. You really think you can save lives? I'm not sure how death works in Elysium. But suffering <laughs> is a drug. And that is something I can't stop. Oh! Off we go now. Ella. That's all of them. Let's keep moving. Once Adonis hears my plan worked, maybe he'll stand down. Hurry, Kiros. We need to get back to Hermes. Or Persephone might suspect something. I hear Persephone likes to test her new recruits. And I've got a bit of a temper. If you see me turning red... I'll think of something. Ella. No one keeps Persephone waiting. Kiros delayed us. Ask him. I... I'd been locked up for ages. You know how our queen feels about filth. I didn't want her judging us, judging you, for being unpresentable. Explain it to Persephone. She's waiting. I'll make sure she knows this was entirely my fault, not yours.
I'm sorry I was ungrateful. Kiros will make a strong guard. Thank you again, friend. Here, Hermes. Keeper, I've been robbed. These are dark times for Elysium. Those delinquent fools have robbed even me. What did they take? I fashioned a key. A recipe, if you will, for an eternal flame. I intended to gift it to Persephone. With it, she could shine her light, even in the underworld. No matter who the ruler is, if you give her fire, you're going to get burned. You still don't understand. Persephone wants to protect us from the dark horrors in the underworld. With the flame, she could. So write the recipe again. What I wrote took lifetimes. We can't let it stay in the hands of humans who would use it against her. Keep her. Alexios, we have to steal it back. I'll take back this recipe. But only because I don't think anyone should have access to a flame that never dies. These are desperate times. You've seen the cloud these delinquents cast on our golden fields. I said I'd get it. Ah, I thank you. You are quickly becoming my friend and ally. An eternal flame sounds more like a myth than some simple recipe. Pa, I began writing the recipe with your father. It's as real as the danger we'd face without it. Why do you go to these lengths to save Persephone? She wouldn't do the same for you. Since these humans started acting against her, she's been suffering. When she suffers, we all suffer. Hermes, has it occurred to you she might just be using you? Of course not. She simply needs someone to rely on. She needs me. I'll find the rebels and get your recipe. That's all I ask. If you are spotted or cause a commotion, we risk retaliation. Go unseen. Asked me to go unseen. I see it. like the scribbles of a madman. But it's been ripped. Where's the rest of it?
We need to get the recipe back. About that. Here it is. You've spared this realm great suffering, my friend. I wonder, where are you spotted? Of course not. But ah, I miss. Good. We don't risk retaliation. I'm keeping these torn notes. If rebellion is coming, this power could be used to light all Velisium on fire. Perhaps you're right. So long as you swear to me you'll guard this secret with your life, I can rest knowing Persephone will never be touched by this flame. Hermes, things are worse in Elysium than I've been letting on. The rebels are organized and ready to fight. War is coming. We must crush the force behind the chaos. Let's fight for Persephone. You're so worried about Persephone. You can't even see you're in just as much danger. You kept the eternal flame out of the hands of the humans, and you went unseen. We have the upper hand. We just have to strike. Calm yourself, Hermes. It's not like you're going to go on a rampage. And why not? There are so-called captains guiding the human forces. They invited chaos into this realm, so let's show them chaos. At least when you asked me to steal, it was from thieves. You're not a murderer, Hermes. You made me look like a fool when I sent you to Kiros. But I can still come back from that and prove my worth. I told you, that was Kiros's fault, not yours. It doesn't matter. Please, I'm begging you, my friend. Help me to help her. You think that your obsession with Persephone entitles you to her love? It doesn't! She will never love you, Hermes, and no amount of killing will change that! Enough! Yeah. You're going to kill him! What are you doing here? Don't question me. Thank me for stopping you both before you do something you regret. <sighs> this isn't over! Stand down, both of you! You still have your parts to play in all of this. Now stop bickering and fulfill them.